Caught me here practicing my serves, huh? This is a great thing. I'm glad you did. Gives me a chance to give an important message to you all out there. You want to have a better serve? Get a bucket, go out there and practice. That's a good tip in itself, isn't it? I mean, you see people, it's funny, you see people out there like, I got a good forehand, oh, I got a great back, and oh, my serve stinks. My question is always, well, do you go out there and practice your serve? Because they're not going to fall from the sky on your lap and be good. You can't go to the pharmacy and buy a little pill for serves and then suddenly you have great serves. You have to go out there and put a little mileage on it. So that's the first tip. Go out there and practice serves if you want to have a good one. Let's take advantage of this opportunity to give you guys a really million dollar tip here on the serve, which has to do with the toss. You know, it's very important to toss the ball always on the same spot. So you'll get a regular toss to work with and develop your serve, your feel for hitting it in the box and all that. It's important that the toss is in front not straight above your head. You'll see it in more details on our service breakdowns on the tennis ball, but it's important to hit the ball in front. It, here, it hurts more the arm. You don't get that much power. When you strike the ball in front, you get a lot more body usage. It's easier to see the ball looking up. Back here, it's even harder on your head in terms of seeing the ball. So that's where you want the toss to be, slightly in front of you. Let's say within like one to two feet inside the court. If you were to toss and you weren't to hit it, it would land one to two feet inside the court. And here is the key point to get this toss to go exactly where you want it to go, folks. Don't throw it up. Take it up there. Put the ball where you want it to be. So first thing is keep the ball in your hand as long as possible. To have the same consistent, consistent trajectory on your, on your toss, keep your arm always straight. Never bend your elbow. Always arm straight. And here goes the key point. The hand, folks. The hand has to open up like this. Like if it was a mini platform. Think of a waiter or a waitress with a, a tray in their hand. And you put something on top. So, you know, when they lift it up to go, the restaurant's busy. A lot of people, and they go in between people. You see them with raising that tray up. And you can't let it drop, right? You can't let stuff drop. So you got to have it like this all the way until it gets up here, see? So if you can keep your hand open like this as you raise your arm, the ball will go straight up and not shoot backwards as if you keep your hand lined up with your arm like this. If you keep your hand lined up with the arm, when you let go of the ball right at about here, it tends to go backwards, that way. For it to go straight up, the hand has to be like this. One way to do it is practice going out there and instead of grabbing the ball firm with your fingers, just leave it loose in your hand and just lift it up like this and see what it feels like. And you start feeling like, oh, there's not much flicking of the wrist going on here. It's more like a platform going up. It's the same as if it was like, uh, let's give it an analogy here. So you know, you guys are sure that it's really me here. If you're in a warehouse and you're to put stuff on top of a forklift, that's how the forklift would lift things up with a little platform like this without tilting anyway. So that's the tip for you guys. Make sure that when you raise your arm up to toss the ball, not just you have your arms straight, but you also open your hands and release the ball as late as possible, right about here. Try not to release it so soon, because then the ball has to travel about four or five feet. And if you release it later, the ball has to travel only one to two feet up there, so it's much easier for you to be accurate, okay? So here we go, this is what you're looking for, something like this, instead of something like this, all right? So guys, Done deal for today. It's a wrap. We'll see you next time. Cheers.